Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to create an art journal page in my handmade messy art journal. I have filled an old book cover from a book from my grandparents with lots of chunky pages and I have all kinds of papers in there. There are some leftovers with already paint on them, old book pages, designer papers everything junky. Here you see me scribbling in some neocolor crayons directly on the papers. I have no gesso on the pages. I'm now blending the neocolors just with water and a brush. I don't go for um, a very beautiful background. I want it to be more messy and playful just as always. I like it colorful and I don't want to be stressed out about the result. I just want to play. Of course if you don't have the new color crayons you can use any water soluble crayon you have. The Stabilo Woodies, for example, will work in the same way. While it's still wet, I go in with a water-soluble black pencil. This is the one from Faber-Castell from the Magnus series. I really love this jumbo pencil and I just make some scribbly marks. I'm also using one of the Derwent Intense pencils. I pick colors that are matching my color scheme. I don't let this dry, I just keep on playing. I will go in with some white gesso now and just add it with my fingers. I'm adding the gesso mainly to the white areas, not all over the painted areas because I don't want to blend in everything, um, just a little bit. I will let this dry now and here I come back when everything is dry and I want to do some stamping. I want to use this flower from the Flowers Gone Wild stamp set as my main image and I will just stamp it with black ink. I am laying a piece of foam underneath my page because the book is really bulky and I won't get a good stamp impression without it. And even with this technique it doesn't really work. My flower isn't stamped perfectly. I thought about stamping it again but no I think I would ruin it. So I just decided to stamp that flower again on a piece of scrap paper and then glue this onto the page. I decided to pick one of my under papers. This one has some shimmery turquoisey color um, on it and I will just stamp the flower in this area and then cut it out and glue it onto my page.
Before I will do this, I will add some more texture to the page using some background stamps. And my favorite one, I believe you know it, is the number stamp from the Mixed Media Mark stamp set. And I really love to stamp this randomly all over my page. This is not the only stamp I'm going to use. I will use some more different texture stamps, but I don't want to use black ink every time. So I'm picking inks that are matching the colors of my page. I decided I want to have more contrast on the page, so I'm going in with some darker blue. I just use watercolors here. That's what I really love about this messy journal. You can use all kinds of mediums and stuff inside. It's not that important and you also learn a lot about your mediums and what works together and what doesn't. The frogs are really loud today outside. I have no idea if you can hear this. As always, you will find photos of the finished spread on my blog and the link is in the video description. If you like these kind of videos, I have already made some spreads in this journal and I will try to find those and link them up in the end cards. I also decided to go in with more of the Derwent Intense Pencils and make some more scribbly marks. What I also like to do on a messy page is to create some more texture using um, a piece of sandpaper for the pencils and just um, give some pigments into the wet areas. After it was dry I decided before I want to glue down my flower I will add some white splatters so I don't get it onto my flower when I do this later. I have just glued down the flower, I've cut it out directly on the black outline and then stick it onto the page with a glue stick and now my flower looks perfect. I will now add some more stamping. I'm using these thread circles from the Mixed Media Mark stamp set.
and I also give the circles some more color. I am going in with the new colors a little bit, but I believe then I will switch to my watercolors. Here I'm stamping the ticket just to the background a little bit. And that's almost the finished page. The only thing I want to add is a sentiment and therefore I cut um, the text from the mix sentiment stamp set. And here I just look where I will glue it down but my orange splatters are still wet so I have to wait until they are dry. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you will see us next time. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye!